For the body is not one member, but many. If the foot shall say, Because I am not the hand, I am not of the body, it is therefore not the body. But if the ear shall say, Because I am not the eye, I am not of the body, it is therefore not of the body. If the whole body were an eye, where would the hearing? If the whole were hearing, where would the smelling? But now that God set the members, every one of them, in the body, as it has pleased him, and if they were all one member, where would the body? But now are they many members, yet but one body. Let's look at this as the believers of the people, because it is many, many, like the gay and lesbian and right agenda, church believers, Scientology, Masons, and so forth. Each one makes up the body of its believers. This nation is a body in itself. If we were all alike, what a dull world we would live in. But I would have to say it would be controlled by one person. You see, Jesus would let you be yourself, but not Satan or the New World Order. So here we have two bodies. So let's look at them. One is the Constitution. People believe in so much that they think that it is their, their right to due process. And it got us Roe versus Wade. But before that, it was taking prayer out of the school, which is the First Amendment. People think the Constitution was set up to help the people. It was to get rid of Jesus. It says, We the people, not thus saith the Lord. The Constitution was made to make laws, new laws, from the words we have. It is the first federal system. The word federal means having or relating to a system of government in which several states from a unity but remain independent in the international affairs. The word but separates the two meanings. Mark three twenty five, And if the house be divided against itself, that house cannot stand. If the so-called founding fathers read the Bibles, then they knew this. But today we have Congress making laws after laws. You heard the saying, too big to fail? Well, this was big and it fell. It took 200 years because the people had God in their lives. But as time went on, and the haters of God seen how they could manipulate the Constitution as a body, either by one or more, I want you to think about this. There was 39 people who signed the thing over 200 years ago. Did you get a spot to sign it? I was not alive, and... I still haven't had a chance to sign it. Have you? So I have nothing to do with it. I was born on this land. God put me here. Why should I have man tell me what to do or how to do it or have to pay to be here? They take what God did and make it bad. Surely your turning of things upside down shall be a sting as a potter's clay. For shall the work say of him that made it, he made me not? Or shall the things form say of him that formed it, he had no understanding? Article 1, Section 1. All legislative power herein granted shall be visited in Congress of the United States which shall consist of Senate and House of Representatives. Although only Congress can pass new laws, the President can veto a bill before it becomes law, and the Supreme Court 
can declare a law unconstitutional. The Constitution sets up many similar checks and balances on the powers of each branch of the government. And it continues on about the House of Representatives and all. Luke eleven forty six, And he said, Woe unto you also, ye lawyers, for ye lay men with burden grievous to be born, and ye yourself touch not the burdens with one of your fingers. What does God's law do? Keep us from doing what is happening now. It gives us common sense not to do things against one another or ourselves. It teaches us to have respect, not to be unclean, but to be clean. Holy is a word people think can only be directed to God, but it is not. 1 Peter 1, 13 through 21. Wherefore, gird up the loins of your mind, be sober, and hope to the end for grace that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. As obedient children, not fashioning yourself according to the former lust in your ignorance, but as he which hath called you holy, so be ye holy in all manner of conversation, because it is written, Be ye holy, for I am holy. And if ye call on the Father, who without respect a person judges according to every man's work, passes the time of a sojourn here in fear, for as much as you know that you are not redeemed with corruptible things as silver and gold from your vain conversation, receiving by traditions from their fa your fathers, but with the precious blood of Christ as of the Lamb, without blemish and without spot, who verily was ordained before the foundation of the world, but was manifest in the last time for you. By him do believe in God, that raised him up from the dead and gave him glory, that your faith and hope might be in God. Holy means sacred. Honor yourself to honor others. Ezekiel 44 and 23 Sing, O you heaven, for the Lord hath done it. Shout, ye lower parts of the earth. Break forth into singing, ye mountains, O forest, and every tree therein. For the Lord hath redeemed Jacob, and glorified himself in Israel. God's ordinance and commandments are not to kill us, but to keep us alive longer for him, and give him pleasure. Philippians 2 and 13 For it is God which worketh in you both to will and to do of his good pleasure. Life has seasons. We have good ones and bad ones. But think as life as a whole season. And in life we have sin. By faith Moses, when he was come to years, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of God than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season, esteeming the reproach of Christ greater riches than the treasures in Egypt, for he hath respect unto the recompense of the reward. Life in general is just a season as the seasons of life goes on. The earth has birth pains. Romans 8 and 22, For we know that the whole creation groaneth and travail in pain together until now. The First Amendment gives the beast that is called sodomites the right to marriage. If we went by the KJV, we would not be bothered with this, but the majority of the people are stuck on the Constitution. So my question is, why do people go to the government for their lives? Let's look at the First Amendment. Congress shall make no law respecting any establishment of religion. <laughs> they did evolution. It is in the schools. 
or prohibiting the free exercise thereof. Oh, we cannot talk about Jesus in the schools, but false gods, yes. Or a bringing the freedom of speech. Remember Brandy Branch? They put the protesters way, way off the protest or the press. Media controlled by the elite to say what they want or the right of the people to peacefully to assemble. They look no further than the time when Michael Brown shooting and the petition the government for a readiness of grievance. There has been so many petitions signed by the people on deaf ear, so our grievances are not heard. The Constitution or the Bible, if we would have went with thus saith the Lord, just think of the power we would have. The Second Amendment is on gun laws. The shooting that happened in Charleston, this kid was able to go buy him again by the law, but he went into a gun-free zone and killed people. More laws will not help. If they would make a law, every man that wanted to get one, then this would not have happened. But my thought is, as this was a stage event, no matter how many background checks a person has, they still can't know the mind and the heart. The Constitution does not even mention marriage. Let me tell you about a book. This book can tell me who I will choose to be and my outcome will be. It will teach me about life and death, what I need to do in between. This book is older than me and has stood the test of time. It was made by my father who loves me enough to give me life. This book will teach me how to treat others and myself. It could take me down a road I want to go or on my own. It knows how much hair I have and when I will die, how I was made and who owns me. It tells me how to pick my friends. It tells me how to think to make it in this world. It teaches me self-control. It teaches me this world will deceive me into thinking we are soup made of Godzilla on a Big Bang Theory. It will tell the future. It will tell me the end. It is like a friend. And it gives me liberty. It is my constitution. The KJV. There was a car accident. Two cars hit a telephone pole, and now we don't have any electricity. So I wanted to finish this video, so I figured I would do the best I could. So I took the picture of the Second Amendment out of my dictionary, and I figured I would just put a candlelight reading of the Bible, and I think it worked out really well. Now I have to say to Seraphim Angel, I sure do appreciate all the pictures and hard work you put in to help me. And I really do appreciate it. And I hope you enjoy the video. Please like and subscribe and pass on for the world to see. And thank you for watching. And may God be walking with you on your walk through this pilgrim on this earth.